Welcome back. In this module, I would like to talk quickly about bucket logging and how we can enable log files on a bucket. So let's go to the S3 again. Let's click on the IT repo dash test. Go to the properties. We talk about versioning, tags, and encryption. Today, I would like to talk about server access logging. Basically, this server access logging, it's going to log all of the interactions that we have with the bucket, all the access through the APIs, and all the changes that we are doing. It's going to capture it and save it in the log files those log files could be in the same bucket or it could be in another bucket so let's enable it to see how it works and this is going to take some time s3 periodically it's going to collect the logs and dump it into that bucket so we are enabling this one and we'll test it later and we'll take a look at it later it's pretty simple just enable the logging and you can choose the bucket that you want to save your log files and as you can see even you can select the current bucket which i'm going to save it in the current bucket this is not going to make sense usually we are enabling logging for security purposes so the best idea is to save the log files in another bucket but for the purpose of this demo I'm going to save it in this bucket and I'm going to give it a prefix in order to make it easier to recognize and hit save well, because inside the AWS, whatever we want to do, we need to have a, enough permission to do it. Right now, we are creating log files and we are uploading into the same IT repo dash test bucket. For doing this, we need actually to have permissions. We need to have write permission in this bucket. AWS is going to take care of this because we are using the AWS management console and from the graphical user interface, the AWS is going to add our permission automatically. So let's double check where is the configuration. AWS is going to use a service for for capturing the log files and save it to the bucket and that service should has access to the bucket itself that's why we haven't talked about the permissions yet but you need to double check that in the permissions and in the access control list this log delivery service has the right permission in your bucket if you are using your own bucket it should be here and if you are using any new bucket then you have to check that destination bucket to check that this log delivery service has the right access in order to be able to capture basically the log files there's also another logging option in on the bucket and it says object level logging. I'm just going to show you this one. We are not going to enable it because we have to start working with cloud trial and, and cloud watch. But basically the way this one is working is it is going to send the log files from our bucket to another AWS service called, called cloud trial. And in the cloud trial, we are basically gathering log files or generating log files. And from the cloud watch, which is another service in the AWS, we can see them and we can analyze them so you should be aware that there is one option here but i'm not going to enable this one for now and i'll probably take a look at this one later when we talk about cloud watch and cloud trial let's quickly check to see if there is any log file generated inside our bucket so i'm going back to my overview tab and yes actually you can see let me refresh it also to see if you don't have any other logs but basically this is our log file that is already uploaded into my bucket. If I click on this one, this is the op object URL, but I'm sure you know that if I click on this one now, I can't see it because it is going to show me access is denied. And in the next video, you understand why, because it doesn't have any public access right now. But if I click on the open, I can basically see inside the log file and it's telling me what is happening inside this bucket and this is the bucket name it repo dash test and we have the timestamps and we have all the results like ip addresses this is the user that is trying to access to that bucket and doing some stuff in the bucket so it, it is basically the log file for the security purposes that was it and i'll see you in the next one